My first 100 days won't end the COVID-19 virus, but I'm absolutely convinced that in 100 days we can change the course of the disease and change life in America for the better. Many politicians don't necessarily stick to 100 days the way that Biden has. I mean, they've really put a bunch of goals and metrics uh, on 100 days. And a lot of the inspiration for that came from FDR um, and, and kind of a president who entered office dealing with multiple crises and with some sweeping changes. This is a time to set big goals, to pursue them with courage and conviction because the health of the nation is literally at stake. The White House and, and the, all the people around Biden have always believed that his admin, administration would really rise or fall based on their response to the coronavirus. 100 million shots in the first 100 days. Wear a mask for just 100 days. The majority of our schools can be open by the end of my first 100 days. He has gotten a handle on the virus. Deaths have plummeted in this country. Half of the, the adult US population has vaccinations and we've gotten to this inflection point where now there's excess vaccine. On the economy, he's passed a $1.9 trillion stimulus package that included very popular checks for many families in this country. On climate, he um, spoke and convened a climate summit. We're ready to meet this moment. And meeting this moment is about more than preserving our planet. It's also about providing a better future for all of us. So there are a few things where, where Biden made kind of big promises as a candidate um, that he did not immediately address as president. Gun control is one of those issues where he talked about introducing a legislation on day one that would revoke the gun liability protections. Police reform is another thing that he said he would do very early on in his administration uh, that he has not necessarily prioritized. In foreign policy, you've seen the president with Saudi Arabia. He had said on the campaign he would make Saudi Arabia into a pariah state. Instead, he sort of gave them a, a slap on the wrist. There was this rush and has been the, these surges of migrants to the border that the administration hasn't been really well equipped to handle. And that has been probably the biggest sort of crisis that he's been facing. And that's really the, one of the lowest marks that he's getting on some of the polling is on his handling of immigration. That's in contrast to to widespread, you know, approval of how he's handled the coronavirus and the economy and, and other sort of key, key metrics. It is really interesting to me that this first Biden's first 100 days does happen to line up in this in inflection point on a number of different issues. Biden in his first 100 days has really been the consoler in chief. But this next phase of his uh, presidency is more as a salesman. And, and we haven't really seen Biden in that role. He's got to, you know, sort of take a much more active role in, in selling these policies that that are not uh, under the premise of a of an emergency situation, uh, the way that the coronavirus has been.